Relaxing the muscles around your eyes and temples, your brow, where you hold a lot of tension. to help you relax your body and mind a little bit more. If you wish, I invite you to just take a few slightly deeper breaths than you usually take, just extending the out breath a little bit longer than the in breath, allowing the belly to swell as you breathe in. Relax as you allow the breath to fully leave the body. And gently allowing your awareness to spread from the top of your head down to the tips of your toes. Using this metaphor of mindfulness being like the light of the sun, kindness being like the warmth. Just allowing your body to be soaked through the light and the warmth of the sun. This mindfulness suffused with kindness. Spreading across the skull area, the scalp. Noticing any sensations you experience. And seeing if you can allow yourself to pick up on any feelings that are fairly pleasant or neutral. Maybe tingling. Maybe coolness or warmth. Allowing yourself to really relax as though you're just receiving this beautiful golden sunshine. Spreading across your face, your forehead, your eyes. Relaxing the tensions around the brow, the eyes, the jaw. And just tuning in the pleasure of relaxation. And this kind awareness soaks through your neck, your shoulders, down your arms. Releasing tensions, allowing your muscles 
even your skin to relax. Again, just tuning in to any feelings from your shoulders down through your arms and all the way to the hands, the palms, the fingers, and the fingertips. Perhaps just lingering few moments longer wherever those feelings are most pleasant, relaxing. Perhaps the palms of your hands. Really opening up with curiosity. Allowing your mind to relax. And this sunshine of mindfulness and kindness spreads through your upper chest. Perhaps soaking right through into your organs. Picking up any feelings you notice. and giving them permission to relax. Allowing the kindness, the care to soften the response of pushing things away, contracting around anything that's unpleasant and just giving things space. Allowing your belly and the organs inside your belly to relax. Spreading your awareness, infused with kindness, with friendliness, down your back. Allowing it to soak through into any muscles that are tight or twisted. And offering them the space, the time release unnecessary tensions. As though you were just resting, basking in the warmth of the sunshine. with nothing to do. Perhaps picking up any feelings, any sensations that are fairly pleasant or neutral. 
perhaps at the surface level of the skin or as the muscles relax. And this kind awareness spreads into the buttocks, giving permission for any muscular tension to relax. Through your thighs, to your knees, and all the way down your legs, the shins, the calves, the ankles, soaking them through. feet, the heels, the soles and the toes. Giving your toes permission to fully relax. Now gently just widening the field of your awareness to include the whole body sitting. And gently inclining your mind to any sense of ease, of pleasure, maybe simply a lack of intense pain in some parts of the body. Or a mild tingling feeling in the palms of your hands. Whatever it is, it's easy to rest with. And notice how this can help to relax the mind. Staying connected to any feelings of ease, well-being, pleasure, physical or mental, emotional. I'd like to invite you to recollect any aspect of the teachings of the Dhamma that brings you inspiration. Perhaps the emphasis on kindness. Teachings on joy, generosity, truth. Noticing which qualities really light you up. Which qualities do you aspire to develop? If 
you hold above your head with reverence and respect. Perhaps the harmlessness of virtue, compassion for others as well as yourself, whatever it is. Just getting a sense of confidence and inspiration and noticing how that feels inside. Now I'd like you to notice whether you can see some of these qualities in yourself. By recollecting a time that you've been kind or compassionate, helpful to somebody else. Ways that you are virtuous, generous, willing to try your best. Just bring up one or two qualities that you hold very dear and you can see are present in your heart. What is kindness? How does it feel? And you recognize the kindness in your life, in your own conduct, in the way you live in this world. Allowing yourself to feel good about yourself, good about your life. And noticing any pleasant feelings connected with this reflection. as a felt experience in your body and mind. Perhaps very subtle to start with. Perhaps just a basic sense of being okay.
relaxing any effort to just allow the mind to continue to settle. Whatever way it feels right for you. Perhaps from this place of resource, of well being. Feels right to open up to your emotional world in full. To see how you can bring an attitude of kindness and care even to the more difficult emotions you might be experiencing. and kindness towards the difficult, whether physical pain or mental distress, anxiety. Perhaps if your mind feels ready, you could invite the breath inside, continuing to fill your mind with wholesome qualities of kindness and gentleness, and just gently resting on the breath. And if the breath disappears after some time, just noticing and continuing to be kind. In this way we're making every experience an opportunity to develop beautiful intentions of kindness, gentleness, and making peace. Allowing the wholesome states to develop opening up to the happiness of the mind.
And as we're coming closer towards the end of this meditation, just once again, gently opening up the field of your awareness, whether you've been working with the breath or the feelings in the body, with open awareness. Welcoming it all. Just gently lifting mind once again. To experience the whole body. And to tune in to any feelings that are pleasant. However subtle, not denying other feelings that may be present, but just learning to incline the mind towards where it finds ease. And lastly, recognizing once again your own beautiful qualities that made it possible for you to be here. beautiful intentions with which you approach the meditation, you wish to learn, to understand. You wish to develop wholesome states of mind like patience, forgiveness, contentment. And the kindness, the goodness, the virtue that you already recognize growing in your heart. Allowing yourself to feel glad. Feel happy. That you're following such a beautiful path. That you're living a meaningful life. recognize and appreciate all the blessings of my life and share those blessings, share whatever peace, harmony, kindness, goodness I have developed with all beings everywhere, may all beings be happy, be peaceful, be free.
bring that wholehearted approach to the next period of walking meditation and also to everything you do here today. It's a precious time. It's the second day or the third, depending on your perspective, but it's the heart of the retreat. This is the time that the energies of the mind start to build up and it can be tempting to think towards the end, but you're right in the middle. You have an opportunity to learn so much. So see if you can go about whatever lies ahead. Your meal, the work period for those who are serving afterwards. Uh, with a sense of real appreciation and contentment for all the blessings we have in our lives this opportunity to deepen our practice and be of benefit to others as well. So we'll see you at um, 2.45. So you also have time to rest wholeheartedly, which is a very important part of practice. Giving yourself permission to really relax, rest, sleep if you need to. Give your body and mind some care.